Hey everybody. Why are all my tractors and all my pieces of junk sitting on my trailer? Well, come on, take a ride with me in the truck and we'll find out. There's my first load that I brought here. This is going to be my new house. All mine. Just closed on it a couple days ago. Currently I've been living a couple towns away with my mother and finally found finally found the place to be. Got a nice two-car garage in it. No wood stove though, that's the only downside, but you got four acres, plenty of woods, some lawn, there's a blueberry patch over there. So let me swing this trailer around and I'll show you around. Well, come on in. First we come into the living room, dining room, kitchen area. Everything's nice and new. Clean. I'm sure a lot of my viewers will like this. The guy who used to live here was a, a car guy. So a couple of little trinkets were left behind. Here's some aerial photos he left. That's the house there. There's my very friendly neighbor with uh, his wife has horses over here. And he's already helped me out a couple times. And he offered to dig a stump out of my yard. Just today he came over and asked he's got a tractor. So I'm not about to Decline that offer. Very friendly guy. Down the hallway. There's the bathroom. Typical bathroom. Nice and clean. Nice and new. There's two bedrooms. Here's the bigger one. Nice big closet. Plenty of space. And same over here. Slightly smaller room but also has a nice big closet. 
I think I'm going to make this the, the bedroom because this window is east facing so sunlight will come in in the morning and help me wake up. I wish this was a larger room but that's not that, that big of a deal. There's just a closet. Here's the basement. And here's a nice feature of the house. Whoever built this house was thinking all the light switches have illumination so in the dark you don't have to feel around for the switch, you can find it. I suppose it does use a little bit of electricity, but probably not that much. Nice cast concrete foundation, nice and square, plenty of headspace. Nice workbench down here. Heat and AC. Plenty of space, nice and dry. There's no, no evidence of water on the, on the floor, which is nice. They left a couple pieces of, of, a, of uh, exercise equipment. And this is exciting. They left plumbed in a 60 gallon, 220 volt air compressor, brand new. Hasn't even been hooked up yet. The wires just go over to the electrical panel and stop. And there's your typical water treatment stuff, water heater. So I'm happy about the basement. It's not just the basement where all where mold grows and that just you know wastes wastes space. It, this is a nice usable area. Good for a a workshop, an indoor workshop. Here's the exciting part. Through this doorway, through the next one, a big two car garage. Nice tall ceilings, sheet rocked and I assume insulated walls. You can see there's a the plumbed in compressed air. Seller left me some cool, some more cool stuff. These implement wheels and a nice little garden cart. Again, I've started moving in some of my stuff here. Another workbench, a nice vise. They also left some Bovard and Seafang oil field engine parts. Oh wait a minute, those are mine. So I got plenty of space here to play around. Here's the backyard. There's a porch in the back of the house. And there's beginning of my junk pile. That's all going to get moved. I got to put that somewhere. That's just a convenient place for it to, to go now. Maybe about an acre of yard and the rest is all woods. Here's a nice little blueberry patch. I have to put, now see there's a bird right there. I have to get some netting to go over these. Just look at all these. Loaded with blueberries. Actually, some of those are starting to turn blue. Here's the woods. Nice and flat. All right, three acres of it back there, all waiting for me to drive a tractor back there and discover discover cool stuff, or just make some trails and have fun. So 
So that's it. That's my new adventure, everybody. I'm going to be doing lots of driving back and forth, bringing all my stuff up here. I'm a little slice of heaven. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to hit the like button or leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching and come back for more.